Well, I think that really varies from person to person. Everybody's got a different style. Uh, personally, uh, I think it is important for a leader to listen to people. I started out as a school teacher, actually, right out of college, and I taught social studies. And uh, one of the things that I used to do with my class, which I think is, uh, is very interesting uh, in terms of what it revealed, was I did this exercise with them where they needed to, they were given a certain scenario and that scenario was uh, you're an astronaut, crash landed on the moon, uh, you're fine, but the spaceship's damaged. There's a unmanned space station on the moon and you can walk there. Uh, it's possible for you to get there, but you have to do things right to get there. Here's a list of 20 things that may or be absolutely vital to you making it to that station. It may be a completely useless rank them in order of what you think is the most important to the least important and, and I'd give them 10 minutes or so. Each individual would do that then I'd put them together in groups of about a half a dozen and they would have to discuss and come up with a group listing, a group ranking. Invariably the group always did better than any individual in the group. And so uh, I think from uh, at least from my standpoint it's very important to understand that even if I don't agree with you, you've got important input that may well boost our score, so to speak. And now, to do that, you have to be, everybody has to be willing to participate, to be honest, to be open, and to be focused on solving the problem.